Next we have yet another Toyota Corolla Cross, which is a practical and efficient option for those seeking a smaller SUV than Toyota's RAV4. Moreover, it proves to be a more economical choice when compared to the CHR and the base version of its larger counterpart. Despite its functional design and user-friendly controls, the vehicle's underwhelming acceleration and noisy cabin may detract some people from the driving experience a little bit. Nonetheless, the driver can still enjoy a comfortable and spacious ride thanks to the elevated seating position and ample headroom. Impressively, the Corolla Cross attains a competitive 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 9.3 seconds, showcasing its capable performance. Furthermore, it performs well in obstacle avoidance tests, featuring a responsive steering system. The driver's seat offers limited adjustments, with only the top-line XLE model featuring adjustable lumbar support. On the downside, during extended drives, the seat may lose some support and comfort. Additionally, both the door and center armrests lack sufficient padding, and the plastic center console may encroach on the driver's right knee space, and while the rear seat provides ample headroom, the bottom cushion may be lacking in leg support, therefore, the Corolla Cross might not be the best choice for long journeys. It's better suited to short and medium commutes. The interior has numerous hard plastic surfaces, with occasional rough edges. Although the cargo capacity may be modest compared to other small SUVs, the vehicle's upright design makes it practical and useful. The mid-level and top XLE models offer standard blind spot warning and rear cross-traffic warning. As for safety, the Corolla Cross earned top safety pick just like the RAV4, and all trims come standard with Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. Finally, there is the legendary well-known reliability record typically associated with the Corolla nameplate, so you'll be sure to have peace of mind of not having to worry about unexpected repair bills or resale value. As a conclusion at the end of this video here are the main pros and cons of each SUV, which shows why would you consider buying each one and why would you do otherwise. The pros. Legendary dependability. High fuel consumption. Maneuverability. The cons. Noise isolation. Uncomfortable for long journeys. We hope this video has provided you with some valuable insights that will help you pick up an SUV that meets all your needs. If you like the content of this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.